Michael and Lucy have put their house on a home swap website and have interest from three potential swappies, all up for some Barkby action. Spot praying to the Lord of all things homely. They've spotted a three bed in the market town of Waterlooville. That's the kitchen. The tiles are nice. Everybody seems to like these magnet things. Maybe we should get magnets. Oh, there's a lot of grass. The grass is lovely, but you have to mow it. 163 miles towards the Portsmouth coast, Alison is scoping out Michael and Lucy's place. It's this pebble dash. I think that's what it's called. It's one of my pet hates. I hate it with a passion. Alison shares this home with her grandchildren and adult daughter and pays £119 rent a week. It's a three-bed terrace with a twist. It's a small room. <laughs> like, I can touch it either side. It's actually a four-bed. To get extra room for her family, Alison has had to be creative. We've actually split one of the bedrooms into two to accommodate my daughter and granddaughter. She's also been inventive with the space in some of the other rooms. I've actually changed the downstairs loo into a pantry. Hang on a minute. That's not a toilet in your pantry, is it? It is, isn't it? After 20 years living near the coast, this Leicester lass is ready for a move. My forever home will be in Leicestershire, where my family are. Everything I've known's there, all my best friends are there, everybody. It's a three hour journey from Barkby to Waterlooville, near the Hampshire coast. The town was named after a pub, popular with soldiers returning from the Battle of Waterloo. But it's better known now for its retail park. It's got a carpet, right? And even a subway. This reminds me of the road to the A50 coming up through uh, Gruby. Enjoying the quality banter is Michael and Lucy's son, Thomas. With neat freaks Lucy and Michael inbound, Alison is running out of time to tidy everything. I am a little bit nervous because I don't know what to expect from this, this couple. Hi. Hey, how Hi. are you? Please, come on in. Thank come you. On. Come on through, guys. OK, so this is the kitchen. Obvious, I know. Come through to the lounge, guys. It's, uh, uh, well, I think it's a decent size. What do you think, size-wise? Um, yeah. Where the hell do you, where, where do you put the dog? It's about right for you lot. And obviously, you can't have the dogs because less room. But overall, it's quite nice for you. Hmm. Nice try, Thomas. This is your downstairs loo. However... Oh, okay. I've turned it into a pantry. Oh, so okay. yeah, I've got food. Like, see the loo's there, the sink. Oh, so you've not taken the to toilet out? And... No, you don't need to. Yeah, no need. It's a perfectly healthy combo. So straight up the stairs. I've actually split this one into two rooms. Oh. Um, this is my daughter's area, and this is my granddaughter's room. So the largest room, if you can imagine, the partition wall. Not there. I'm just really struggling to see past it at the minute. I'm just in a room and this would be my room and I'm just seeing a little tiny room. Too so, small. Yeah. yeah, I understand. And I just, that. I feel quite claustrophobic. Quick, get her outside. As you can see, gardens, low maintenance. I do want a smaller garden. Yeah, we do, yeah. definitely. The only thing I would miss is grass. Is grass, yeah. yeah. Not for us so much because of the dog. The dog. But, I mean, it's really yeah. nicely laid out. I just need grass. I'm going to walk the dog so feel free to go back in the house meet around do what you like and i'll be back with you shortly brilliant thank you thank you right. come on fella whilst alison makes a quick escape there's a family meeting in the upstairs pantry sorry loo i think we're looking for somewhere basically i think that we can just move straight into with minimal work needing doing the last thing i would think of doing is putting Shelves and putting in a toilet. food in a toilet. That's no, a strange decision. I've isn't never it? seen it in my life. First, hey. it was the first time for everything. You try it. Yeah, you That's can do it. That's not a bedroom. It's like a prison cell. I, I could, in fact, I couldn't swing a cat in here because I think the cat would rebound off the walls. An unusual way to measure a room. So, they like the local area and the garden size, but there's no room for cat swinging. And food storage is a kitchen nightmare. So will Michael, Lucy and Thomas be up for a swap? I'm really excited to hear your feedback. I wouldn't get too excited. Positives for me. Yeah. I, I like the area. I like the back garden. I think it's great. Internally, I know you've split the bedroom, obviously, for your own needs. Totally appreciate that. Yeah. For us, we'd have to, we'd have to take it yeah, all back garden back. again. Yeah. The question now would be, 
would you be inviting me to come and view your property with a view to a swap? I can't say yes and I can't say no. It's a no, isn't it? I can't watch. I feel a little bit sad because I don't think the house is what they're looking for. However, never say never. I'd like to leave my options open and, and, and see what the next viewing yeah. possibly could bring. Thank mm -hmm. you.